All right, guys, back today for part 11 of the Beast Mode Barbell Training Series. And in this workout, we have a full done for you, lower body advanced workout. Let's get into it. Hey guys, Coach Frank back at the compound today and in this workout, we have an entire done for you advanced lower body workout. This is part 11 of our Beast Mode Barbell Training Series, which is a uh, series of workouts that we've decided to give to you 100% free right here on YouTube. And what this series has been dedicated to is helping you shatter through plateaus, maximize your muscle building potential so you can build your greatest body, but more importantly, live your greatest life utilizing nothing but barbells. We get a lot of people that reach out to us and send them messages all the time. Coach Frank, I, how can I build my best body if I don't have access to an entire gym or if I don't have a full training equipment available to me? Well guys, we're gonna shatter all of those limiting beliefs because in this series we've given you, at this point, 10 workouts, this is part 11, of how to fully train every single muscle within your, within your body using nothing but barbells and in some cases a couple plates. But in this workout, guys, is an advanced lower body workout, so if you're in your first year of training, uh, probably not for you, but go ahead and stick around with us till the end because I'm gonna tell you how you can get some more workouts for you. But in this workout, guys, this is gonna be an advanced lower body. So I'm gonna walk you through each exercise here individually. So at the end, guys, we're gonna give everything to you. Make sure to grab a screenshot of that at the end of this video. But here, guys, I wanna walk you through all the exercises, handing over to for a uh, few short cues so you know how to perform these exercises correctly so you can get the most out of them. But more importantly, I want you to understand the structure. I want you to understand why we've put these workouts together in the way that we have because that's really, really important to understand the programming aspect of these things. So you can take this with you and have some of this education and knowledge for the rest of your life. So these workouts, guys, are gonna give you the, the cues. But let's talk about sets and reps, guys. So this is hypertrophy. This is muscle building training. So we're not five to six reps. We're not focused on power lifting or too much of an emphasis on strength. We also don't want to tap too deep into some of our metabolic capacity. So we want to get into those 15, 20 reps. So keeping everything in that eight to 12 rep range, guys, three to four sets uh, per exercises or per sets of exercise. So our first two exercises in this workout, guys, we're gonna do them as a superset. It's gonna be a front squat and then immediately a traditional back squat. Yes, guys, I'm gonna ask you to do two squat movements back to back. I told you it was an advanced workout. So we'll start with the front squat, guys. This is gonna be the bar sitting here right on top of your, your shoulder blades right here, the front clavicle. And then using that same weight, we're gonna finish the superset off with a back squat. So yes, normally you're not as strong on a front squat as you are in a back squat, but by doing the front squat first, you've obviously somewhat fatigued some of those muscles, so the back squat's gonna be even more challenging. So superset guys doing both the front squat and the back squat together, then you can rest for about 60, maybe 75 seconds, guys. So that's the first two exercises here in this workout. Front squat immediately into a back squat. Our second exercise, our second movement, actually third exercise, is gonna be the barbell hip thrust. So this is gonna be a glute drive movement. Not a lot, not something that a lot of guys see. I don't see a lot of men performing this, but it's probably the most important when it turns to overall leg development because the glutes are the biggest muscle in our body. If we don't put an emphasis on developing them, then we're gonna be weaker in some of these other movements. So actually building up the glutes using the hip thrust is gonna make you better squatter. It's gonna make you better walker. It's gonna make you better runner. It's gonna make you better overall athlete in anything that you do. So the barbell hip thrust, guys, just sit the bar here right across uh, your, your, your front lap here. Use the squat pad, guys. Don't try to like be too tough in, in some of these things. It's okay if you're putting a lot of weight across the front of, of your hips here to have a little bit of bracing uh, there in support for those hips. So second exercise, guys, is gonna be the hip thrust. We're gonna move then right into the RDL or the Romanian deadlift. Once again, this is a glute and hamstring exercise. Now with our knees, we want a soft bend in our knees, guys. We're not focused on a straight leg deadlift. I think that's something that too many people perform incorrectly and just put yourself in vulnerable, weak positions. But with the RDL guys, soft bend at the knees, we wanna focus on driving our hips back. So should we let our hips and, and glutes be the guider of the movement? So as you're, as you're focused on coming down, your hips, your intention should be, how far can I get my hips behind me? The minute you reach a point where you feel your back start to round, that's the end point for you. So the movement is in the hips and in the glutes, back should only move as far as they'll go with your hips. The minute it starts to round, that's the end point for you. Begin to pull that weight back up by driving those hips forward closer to the front. Now the next movement, guys, is gonna be a reverse barbell lunge. So that's holding the bar here, just like we did in our back squat, and then our lunge is gonna be a step back, okay, using that front leg as really the support, and that's putting a lot of, uh, a lot of emphasis and tension into that front quad. So this is a lunge that's gonna train more of our quads as opposed to our glutes, and that's okay because we just finished up and just did two glute emphasis exercises. So the reverse lunge, guys, 
eight to 12 reps per leg. So that means you're gonna do 16 to 24 total in, in the exercise. So reverse back with the right leg and then immediately into the left leg. So alternate, just making it easier for you to perform the complete exercise, the complete set together. And then we're gonna move into our next set of superset guys, which is gonna be barbell step ups and then put the barbell down and finish the superset off with box jumps. So as we've done reverse step back, the, the, bo the box step ups is gonna be us stepping forward. So barbell guys, don't overload the bar. If you need to start with just body weight, that's gonna be okay as well. You don't need to try to be Superman in everything that you're doing here. But hold the barbell up here at the top, step up to the box, driving your weight through the top, front leg, pausing at the bottom, and then coming back down, controlling the weight on the way back down, and then finish the super dead off with just box jumps. So this is gonna be, the barbell is gonna be placed down. You just focus on driving everything through both legs, landing softly and secure on the box uh, up top, and then stepping back down. So step ups, and then into box jumps, and we're gonna finish this entire workout off with a small little super set for our calves, which is gonna be the barbell calf raise. Okay, we can go heavy here, because we're just focused on the top hash, top half of the portion, and then we're gonna finish these, uh, finish that superset off with some calf pumps, guys. This is just driving more blood, more oxygen into those pumps. So I told you guys, all the workouts here, I'm gonna run through those one more time. Make sure to grab a screenshot here when, we, when it pulls up here on the video. So the first superset, guys, is gonna be front squat, immediately into back squat, and then we're gonna move into our hip thrust, okay, glute drive, really extending up at the top, and then our RDL, our Romanian deadlift, focus on driving those glutes back. We're not looking for a rounding lower back here. And then we're gonna do our reverse lunge. And then we're gonna finish off with two supersets, weighted step ups into box jumps. And then we're gonna finish off with our calves, which is gonna be our barbell calf raise. Really getting heavy here, guys. And then finish the workout off with calf pumps. So that's it, guys. Really hope you enjoyed this workout. Like I said, guys, grab a screenshot right now so you can just walk into the gym and literally have this with you. But I told you if you stuck around to the end, I was gonna share with you how you can actually get more of these workouts completely done for you. So click down there in that first pinned comment, guys. Check out the next video where I walk you through an entire done for you fall along training series so that you can A, maximize your muscle building potential, build your greatest body, but more importantly, live your greatest life. But Coach Frank here at the Critical Bench Compound, if you found value and enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. That's gonna help me out a lot, guys, by you hitting that subscribe button. And if you wanna get notified the next time when part 12 is released, hit that notification tab. That's what's gonna help you guys out. But if you haven't done so yet, make sure to go check out the first uh, 10 parts of this series. We appreciate you guys for tuning in. Coach Frank at the Compound, we love you. We'll see you in the next video.